I am finally going to be talking about this movie, whatever it is. Okay. So, in 2015, Paul Vids released probably the most beloved or despised Thomas fan-made movies ever. And this movie is called Shed 17. Yep, yep, yep. So, if you watched Shed 17 before, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. If you didn't watch it, well, if you have the guts to watch it, then sure you can, but I warn you, it's messed up. So, um, I don't even know where to begin. This movie's like... It's strange, it's, like, it's gory, it's messed up, and it's absolutely funny. Because, okay, let me tell you what how I first um, saw Shed 17. So, I was watching one of Sammy Clark's old 20, like, season 21 reviews, and, um, I got, he mentioned something about Shed 17 and about how it was dark, and I was like, I immediately stopped the video, and I'm like, hmm, I want to know what this Shed 17 stuff is. So I went on my phone, and I searched it up, and I feel like the year was 2020, like when everyone was quarantining, and I was bored out of mind, so I had nothing better to do. So, um, yeah, I searched it up, um, I saw it was, like, Thomas-related, I saw that it was a movie, I clicked on it, and it turned out to be a documentary. And, um, well, yeah, you, you know that, um, well, by the way, this is not scripted. This is not scripted because, well, I'm too lazy to write a script for this. But, um, you know, I watched it. It was a documentary. I kind of got bored throughout half of it, so I just skipped all the way to the end. And you know what? This was probably most baddest decision I ever made in my life. The most dumbest thing I ever did. I immediately skipped over to the part where Thomas, um, you know, um, went into Shed 17, and they were showing footage, like, James struggling on a hill, Edward blowing blood out of his whistle, um, uh, Percy's head twisting, eyes rolling back to his head and nearly falls off, and Gordon's eyes blowing up in blood. And I soon noticed. And then I soon realized that I got myself into a bad decision. But instead of turning off the video, I decided to keep on watching it. And, well, let's just say I made this stupid decision. Because I saw Thomas jump out of his skin, skeleton appearing. And seeing Thomas rip his face off. And then the screaming skeleton. That absolutely destroyed me. The screaming skeleton traumatized me from that day. And, you know, it kind of still scares me to this day. And, yeah. After I finished the video, I sat in my room for a couple minutes just wondering what the hell I just witnessed. So, yeah. After that, I didn't watch Thomas for a while because I was scared, honestly. But obviously, I did face my fears. I watched it again. And you know what? I quite like Shed 17 just because what it did to the Thomas fandom, like, nothing else. Like, um, like, obviously, we do have Timothy, the ghost train. But, like, I find that kind of scary. But, like, like, how he committed suicide and stuff. But, like, not to the point where you see Engine's eyes burst into blood like i don't even think little blue hell can top that seriously so let me just tell you a quick quick rundown to the story so um there's this german scientist who um you know like he works with dna and stuff and he was brought over to the island of sodor with um i believe I haven't watched the movie in a while, so I could be getting this completely wrong, but, like, and then he also has his grandson, which is Helms, I think, and he's also a scientist, and then Helms got married, and then he had a boy named Thomas, and when we first see Thomas, um, well, let's just say 
Well, Thomas the boy has the face of Thomas the tank engine, and yeah, now we know where we're going. So, um, after that, we, um, they, Thomas Helms gave Thomas, um, you know, uh, like, a camera where, and, you know, t Thomas is a sweet little boy who just films trains going by and stuff, you know, um, so, yeah, he's pretty sweet, and I just love how they mixed real-life footage into, like, animation. I find that great. So, one of Thomas's videos, um, shows, um, Keith Hartley, who is also one of the main characters in the movie. Yeah, Thomas the Tank Engine isn't really the main character in the movie. I'm sorry, I'm right now just killing a bug right now. Get off my freaking curtain. Screw off. Uh, I'll deal with it later. Um, so, Thomas, um, one of the other videos also have Sir Topham Hatt, who is just this evil bastard. And, um, well, um, one of the videos have, um, Sir Topham Hatt, who's also called Fat Beep. I don't know what the swear word is. I think it's the F word. So, yeah, um, um, Sir Topham Hatt yells like, Oh, get off my effing platform! And, like, it's just funny so yeah time goes by and one day which is the first death we see so thomas and his fat friend that's what they call him are going to school or something and then like um thomas is like eleven forty-five's coming down the line and um then um we see thomas's fat friend look in one direction thomas turns his camera and then boom um, Thomas gets ran over by an engine that doesn't have a face, by the way. And you just see Thomas's arm go flying across the scene. And, um, uh, yeah. That's just... Yeah! <laughs> of course, um, Thomas's father is horrified by this. And he locks himself up in Shed 17 at, I believe, a Sodor facility. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to, um, you know, you know, bring Thomas back alive. And there was many failed experiments. And then, um, well, Thomas, many years later, Thomas comes out of the shed with the German scientists and Helms. And Thomas is now a train. And, um, people are horrified th by this, um. Like, a woman passes out, and then Thomas is like, Hello, Keith Hartley! And then, um, you know, Keith Hartley goes to the back of his shed and starts throwing up. <laughs> so, yeah, that's crazy. So, yeah, this, of course, gets to the news. And, like, every time Keith Hartley gets interviewed by people, like, how it witnessed, every single time, Keith Hartley just barfs. He's like, <laughs> So... Yeah, um, obviously Sir Topham Hatt, like, hears about this, and he's like, um, well, I don't know what he says, like, I don't know, he's kind of like, eh, you know? So, of course, um, people ask Helms if they could be biofused, but of course Helms is like, hell no. Nah. So, yeah, but Sir Topham Hatt, being the bastard he is, um, he decides to help those people, um, like, spare their life away to be turned into engines. The first engine is James, who, um, spares his life away to be turned into an engine. So, Sir Topham Hatt records James, you know, going up on the hill, you know, struggling, 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 and then, um, yeah, he's fine. He doesn't die in the movie, but he does die in the sequel, which is Project G1, so that kind of sucks. <laughs> And did I also mention that, um, Thomas was, Sir Tom Hat bought Thomas? Yeah, I forgot to mention that. Anyways, um, another engine that's made, okay, I'm completely going off the story now. Another engine that's made is Edward. So, it turns out to be a deleted scene from Thomas and Friends, I think, what they predicted. And Tom, Edward's like, peep, peep, hello, in Ringo Starr's voice, and he's like, oh! And freaking whistles out blood that covers some boys. So, yeah, um, that's crazy. Next up, we have, I believe, um, so I believe the next engine that's made is Mavis. 
And then there's another part where Harold's made where I don't know how they mesh the face into Harold, but eh, who cares? So while Mavis is getting fueled up, it turns out that her organs gets, you know, burnt alive. And yeah, that's kind of dark. Mavis's face blows up and yeah, her face is scary. <laughs> so Harold's not allowed to fly because what happened. So yeah. Anyways, another death. Um, well, and then after that, um, so I believe I could be getting these parts mixed up. So I'm just going to go over four. So Helms is just getting so mad or like just can't handle anything. He puts a gun like right up his mouth and shoots himself. So yeah, rip, rip, rip Helms. So yeah, and of course, sawdust flies everywhere, because if you don't know, in the model series, um, the characters were made out of wood, so, yeah. Although that makes no sense, because the engines that were biofused were made of wood, but then they have blood when they die, so, yeah. Um, a next death is, so, Sir Topham Hat decides to make all the engines that don't work, just let them be on display, and, you know, we have, like, James, Toby, Birdie, and all that, and then we see Percy, who... I, his eyes roll to the back of his head, his head, like, twists, and then nearly falls off, so, yeah, Percy dies two times, because he was already dead, and then died again, so, yeah, um, then, um, Gordon got turned into, um, um, an engine, which, um, well, you know, like, people were scared of him just because how massive he was. So when Gordon was getting first steamed, um, he's, like, he was going fine at first, but then he, his, like, the heat started cooking him inside, and, yeah, that's dark, and, well, yeah, Gordon's, like, the people were tr asking Sir Topham Hat if they could stop it, but Sir Topham Hat's like, no, I wanted to see what happens. I paid too much money to do this. So, yeah, Gordon, but when the people were allowed to go stop Gordon's fire, um, well, it was too late. Gordon's eyes burst into blood, and, yeah, he explodes. So, um, the, some people got into the explosions. They weren't killed, but they were injured, um, so Sir Top Hat's like, no, we can't call an ambulance. They, I can't let the crimes I'm committing get to their head or something like that, so, yeah, um, after that, um, like, Harold, they try to test out Harold, he's, he goes fine at first, but then he starts spinning around, and then hits the ground and explodes, and the people that were injured die, so, yeah. Now, the next engine that gets made is Henry, who's, uh, surprisingly, the only one who works, which is ironic, because in the TV show, he didn't work at all, well, until he had his fine kipper accident and stuff, so, yeah, um, he helps clear the wreckage, but unfortunately, Henry accidentally gets taken into Shed 17 and then sees the truth about Thomas. So, he goes up to Sir Topham Hatt's office, and they have, like, a five-minute screaming conversation. And then, um, you know, Henry goes to the same shed with Thomas. He's like, stay away from Shed 17. And, um, well, in, I believe, Keith Hartley's voice? I don't know. He's voiced by Paul Fids, by the way. He does most of the voices, so, yeah, the voice acting's good, and the animation, eh, could be better, but in Thomas's PC adventures, it did improve a lot, so, yeah. Um, after that, um, Henry, um, Sir Top Hat does not like Henry, so he wants to find a way to kill him. So Henry takes the flying kipper, and we see footage of Sir Topham Hat putting a rail spike on the points. Henry rushes into, like, a siding with the train, and crashes into the train surprisingly he didn't um die but his crew died so sir topham had made a stupid as damn um excuse saying don't worry you're gonna go to crew we're gonna go to a nice place where ill engines go and it turns out to be a scrap yard and r.i.p henry so yeah um you know edward um not dead um Avis is dead, Harold's dead, Percy's dead, Gordon's dead, Henry's dead, and Thomas is the only one left. So, Thomas, 
wants to find out what Shed 17 is, so after his crew leaves, he somehow nearly kills himself by moving by himself to Shed 17, and yeah, when he moves in there, he sees, like, clones of himself, like, a big Thomas face, and then a skeleton with wheels, and then, um, a big Thomas outline with, like, like, no, like, face, and then we get a recap of all the deaths, so that's nice. And then Sir Thomas goes to this green tube, which soon a hand pops out, and it turns out it's actually the real Thomas. And, um, yeah, Thomas finds out he's a clone, and then he's like, no! And then, um, a, go, a line goes through the boiler, and then soon the boiler rips apart, revealing a skeleton. Thomas lifts up, and he's like, no! for like 50 seconds and then his skeleton hands go up to his face where his eyes roll back to the back to his head which just like his best friend and then thomas is he rips his face off with stress and then yeah then the skeleton starts screaming like <laughs> you know like that and that was what traumatized me and then yeah that's the end of the movie not really because then we see in japan that they're still using biofused and then we also see a big cruise ship where at the bottom of the sea, the face is shown in, like, yeah, Henry's face where, like, the ship is drowning and actually shows Henry's face when he was dying. So, yeah, that's just 17 for you. Sorry that I couldn't, like, tell you the story in full pronunciation. So, what are the things I did like and what are the things I don't like? The things I did like were the characters, um, the animation, um, you know, the... Um, everything. Everything was great. There's one thing I didn't like. Like, um, there's only nitpicks, like, um, times when, like, um, animation errors. But, like, who cares, right? Who cares? So, yeah, um, that, that's practically it. I also like how funny and deathly the deaths are. Like, they're hilarious. So, yeah. I'm sorry this review was so crappy. Yeah. You guys can... Yeah, goodbye. Yeah, this, this was stupid. I suck at reviewing.